Hello, my name is Desiree Thomas and I am a Youth Services Librarian at Worthington Libraries. Today I would like to share with you some titles that I have really enjoyed. These are some picture books that are excellent for your first grader who is becoming a really good reader, I'm sure by this point, and wants to create their own stories or may need just a little bit of courage to push forward into the journey of reading. So the first title that I would like to share with you is, This is My Eye, A New York Story, Pictures and Texts by Neela Baswani. So Neela, you can see her, she's in the center here. She went through her neighborhood and she took lots and lots of pictures. And as you can see, she crafted a story all about the things that she found. So there's some bricks here, there's some chalk art, there's the shadow of a dog, all of these things she used to create her own story. Even carrots, a blue chair, some red tulips. So one of the reasons I really like this book here is because you can use this as inspiration to create your own story. You can walk through on your throughout your own neighborhood and take pictures and then craft a story around it. Again, this title is This Is My Eye, A New York Story, Pictures and Texts by Neela Baswani. The next title that I would like to share with you is Nana Akua Goes to School. It's written by Trisha Alam Walker and illustrated by April Harrison. Now, this little girl is in first grade and a very special day is coming up. It's going to be Grandparents Day. And all of the kids around her are so excited to have their grandparents come and share what they do in their normal everyday lives. You have some barbers, you have someone who is like a fisherman, and she's listening to all of her friends talk about what their, her, their grandparents do. And in her head, she hears the way some people respond to the way her grandmother her looks. You can kind of tell from the front of the picture here of the book that her grandmother has some marks that are on her cheek. So she's very concerned that when her grandmother comes to this program that people might not treat her well. And she finally gets the courage to tell her grandmother, hey, I'm kind of a little bit worried that they may not be nice to you. So her grandmother comes up with the idea of explaining what the marks on her cheeks means. She's from Ghana. And then one of the things I love is these symbols here, her Nana, tells the little kids that they can pick one of these and she will draw one of the symbols onto their face so they can have their own special mark. It's a really good book about celebrating your differences and having the courage to accept yourself as you are. Again, that title is Nana Akua Goes to School, written by Trisha Alam Walker, illustrated by April Harrison. The next title that I would like to share with you is We Are Brothers, written by Yavez Nadom, illustrated by Jean Claveri. This book is the perfect sibling book. These two brothers go to the same beach house every year, and every year his older brother jumps off of this huge rock every year. And you can see he's kind of here at the top and his little brother is all the way down at the bottom. Well, this time it's little brother's turn, but he's super nervous 
He's super scared. Look at him. He's at the top here all by himself. But you can see his older brother at the bottom of this page. And it is with the courage of his older brother that little brother is finally encouraged to try to take the plunge himself. It's a great story about friendship between an older brother and a younger brother and courage and also of being free to conquer things. Again, that title is We Are Brothers, written by Yavez Nadon, illustrated by Jean Claveri. The next title that I would like to share with you, I adore not only because of the message in the book, but also the illustrations. The title is Ocean Meets Sky written by the Fan Brothers. As you can see, there's a huge whale here in the center. So this story is about a, a young man whose grandfather has um, passed away and they had this dream of building a ship that was going to take them into the sky. So he kind of gets tired and he goes to sleep and slowly but surely he finds his way into this magical place where he gets to see some of the things he hoped to see with his grandparents, his grandfather, and also ask him questions and it also communicates just how much he misses his grandfather and loves him. Again, that title is Ocean Meets Sky, written by the Fan Brothers. Next title that I would like to share with you is Rabbit and the Motorbike, written by Kate Hoffler, illustrated by Sarah Jacobs. Now, Rabbit never goes anywhere, ever. He stays in the same place. He does the same things all the time. But Dog comes and visits Rabbit all the time. And Dog tells Rabbit stories about his journeys when he was a younger pup and all of the adventures he's had, how he howled at the moon. And then the stories stop coming because Dog is gone. And Rabbit is still scared to leave. He's still scared to go anywhere. But Dog left Rabbit his motorbike. And so he kind of looks at the motorbike for a while, begins to make friends with the motorbike, and then he finally gets the courage to hit the open road. This book is really about courage, about honoring those who have been our friends that we no longer have, and about opening your heart to new friends. Again, this title is Rabbit and Motorbike, written by Kate Hoffler, illustrated by Sarah Jacobs. The next title that I would like to share with you is one of my favorite titles. It's Solway written by Lapita Nyong'o, illustrated by Vashti Harrison. Now this little girl is having trouble accepting her own beauty. And every day she wants to be like everyone else. She prays to be like everyone else. But it is through this parable that she learns to accept her own beauty and to stand in that beauty. This is a great book for any child who feels different or feels like they look or sound or have different family than anyone else. It really is a book about self-acceptance, but the illustration are amazing and gorgeous. 
Again, that title is Soul Way, written by Lapita Nyong'o, illustrated by Vashti Harrison. The final title that I would like to share with you today is one that is full of poems. The title is In the Middle of the Night, Poems from a Wide Awake House. It's written by Laura Purdy Salas, illustrated by Angela Madison. It's a story all about the ways that the house settles at night and the fun that people have, or sometimes, sometimes the fun that's not had. This one is called Lidless Lament. My head is aching. My throat feels dry. My ink fades off into the sky. I skip on paper, scratch and skid. I'm useless since you lost my lid. So this is perfect for our first graders, of course, because they're beginning to write, they're beginning to craft, beginning to make paper airplanes, those types of things. So they're funny, they're short, great bedtime story. Again, that title is In the Middle of the Night, Poems from a Wide Awake House, written by Lori Purdy Salas, illustrated by Angela Madison. All of these titles are available to you through your library. So I hope that you will visit your library and get some of these titles and craft some stories of your own. Thank you so much for listening.